Yo, 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 it's your boy J Dub back at it again. One more time. Let's get to talking about some of these topics that we're going to talk about. One big topic. Um, again, it's going to be Xbox related. You know, I'm here to make Xbox great again. That's what I do. That's what I do. We're going to talk a little bit about the Xbox Scarlet, um, some of the Microsoft uh, other branded consoles, uh, the Xbox One Sad, and uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about it. Uh, we got a, I got a couple articles here we're going to read about it and see what, they're, uh, see what we got going on for next generation. Uh, it's been an interesting generation this far. It's been... Um, six years going on seven years so obviously the generation is winding down and stuff like that so we, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that let's get to this article here it's by gaming boat so again it's my source so i don't want anybody to start attacking me saying i'm not posting links saying i'm just talking out the side of my neck yeah. So it says the Xbox Scarlet will also release with an X Cloud uh, focus streaming only SKU. That means a console, um, a physical console. And its focus is going to be streaming only. All digital console. And the price is going to be in between $60 to $100. Hmm. What do y'all think about that? Uh, about a month ago, we all remember them releasing the Xbox One Sad edition of the Xbox. Mm. So a month later, a month and a half later, you're going to release... You're going to, you know, talk about releasing yet another console. Obviously, it's a streaming edition, right? So, I mean, is this Xbox One Sad 2? I don't know. Let's see what they got to say. Microsoft's next gen streaming only console might not be dead after all. You got to think about it. These guys have spent a lot of money on these consoles. So uh, I don't see them just pulling the plug and letting that be that. They're going to try to recoup some money. All right now it says Microsoft focus on xCloud and streaming video games to any device is going to be a huge part of their business strategy going forward. Obviously we know that, right? They released the Xbox One Sad. They removed the Blu-ray drive. And then they tell you, here you go. Have at it. Spend $249. Even though you can uh, get an Xbox One S, which has the drive, which is a better deal, for $199 or even cheaper at retailers with games. So the Xbox One Sad, I'm pretty sure there's about two or three guys who actually bought that. Um, that didn't make any sense at, at all. At all. But... According to uh, some diehard Xbox guys, they say that they that Microsoft just wanted to test the market. They're in the industry of testing the market. Mm. Testing the market, huh? Spending billions and millions of dollars to test the market. Something that, I mean, all you got to do is just ask your base. Hey, what do you think about this? The research is already out there about what the whole streaming thing is and how the reception is going to be. So I don't see them spending billions of dollars for yet another console for them to tell you that, for them to find out that information. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. It says recently more reports emerged that Microsoft had dropped the strategy for having multiple 
Xbox Scarlet Skews, but now known as Xbox Insider Brad Sams, who originally broke the news about the Scarlet and multiple Skews. Um, this guy, I mean, we, we all know this guy. He, you know, this guy, he's connected in the industry, and he's been right more than wrong. So I think most people would uh, give him the benefit of the doubt regarding that. So if they're going to release this console, for one, if, let's say, let's call it the Xbox One Mini. The Xbox One Mini for 60 to $100. Wouldn't that make more sense than releasing the Xbox One sad? And and what about all of those Xbox guys who have the OG Xbox One or the Xbox One S or the Xbox One X or the upcoming Scarlet? Now the Mini is going to be on the rise. Is that not a is that not too many consoles? Do you guys think that that would not um, confuse the customer, especially holiday time? I mean, we have X Cloud now. People pulling out their cell phones and their tablets, and they're hyping up X Cloud. Um, what's I mean, another piece of hardware? Eh. I don't know. Uh, I just I'm still not sure about this Microsoft strategy. I know a lot of you guys didn't didn't like what I said, how I would correct, and how I would have Microsoft to walk back. I don't know. I I still believe that uh, if they walk back everything and just they have the money, they have the investments now. Just just go for broke. You have more money than than, than Sony. Go for the high-end stuff. Get that base back. I mean, what do you guys think? This Xbox One Mini. Are you guys going to pick it up? Would this replace your Xbox One S or your OG Xbox with the Kinect? What about your iPhone? The whole remote play? With the X Cloud, I mean, what, what's, what's up with that? What is this system here going to do? How is that going to uh, help them to sell you into their ecosystem, the next generation? If you're a PlayStation guy, I mean, would you pick this thing up? Let me know. Check out the, uh, you know, leave me leave me a message or something in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, personally, again, I think there's just too many consoles out there. And I'll still say that Microsoft is trying to fix a software problem with more hardware. You cannot fix software problem with hardware. I don't care if you're the most powerful I don't care if you're the weakest. Anyway, it's your boy J Dub. Thank you, thank you for rocking out with me, checking out my video. I'm gonna be giving you guys a little bit of uh, some more gaming news, a little bit more often than I have been. Uh, I really do want to focus on the channel more than I have in the past. Um, so, you know, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you, and I'll, I'll see you guys on Twitter. You guys know where to find me. Kicking up dust, starting stuff, telling it how it is. Peace.